All right, welcome to Tinker's Lab and another GIMP tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you the 3D transforms that you can do on the GIMP. GIMP can do 3D. So let's go ahead and bring up the GIMP. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to file and I'm going to create a new image, 1920 by 1080. In my advanced options, you can see I've got it filled with transparency. Hold down Control Shift J to maximize that in our window. Now what I want to do is I want to I want to open several images, but I want to open them as layers in this existing image file. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go Open as Layers. I'm going to navigate to my folder here for the GIMP for 3D. These 3D transforms are really really cool. So I'm going to select an image from my background. I'm going to hold down my control key so I can select multiple files at the same time that are not in contiguous order. So I'm going to grab my Halloween image here. I'm going to grab my Christmas and also my Autumn. All right, we're going to load all those as layers. Isn't that cool? All right, so we don't need our original background because I've got a different image layer that I'm going to use for background. So I'm going to delete it down here. I'm going to highlight the one that I am going to use as my background. I'm going to move it to the bottom of the stack by clicking this down arrow. And then I want to order my other images so that I've got them set up in like walls for like a diorama. You can use this process to create like a digital diorama. And that's kind of what I want to demonstrate here today. So I'm going to grab my, let me see, my Halloween is going to be my back wall of this you know start of a diorama so I'm gonna bring that down right above my background layer and while I'm thinking about it we always want to protect the layers that we don't want to edit or move right so I'm gonna I've got my uh, background layer selected here and I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna say I want to lock the pixels I want to lock it so it can't be moved and I'm gonna lock it lock the alpha channel so that the transparency is also locked because I don't want to do anything with that layer. All right, so first let's go to our Christmas layer. And what we want to do is we want to scale it. So I've got my Christmas layer highlighted here. That's what's showing on top. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go into layer and I want to scale the layer, not just the image, but I want to scale the entire layer. So I'm going to scale layer and I'm going to put in 800, let me move this over here where you guys can see it, 800 by 450. I'm going to scale that. Okay, so there's my Christmas layer. And then next I want my autumn layer. So my Christmas layer is going to be my right wall. And then my autumn layer is going to be in my left wall. So I've got the walls in order of season. So I've got autumn, I've got Halloween, I've got Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to right click on my autumn layer and I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to go to scale and I want to scale it the same size as my Christmas layer, 800 by 450. And I'm going to scale that one. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it over here. And then my back wall, which is my Halloween, I've got that selected now. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to layer, I'm going to select scale layer again and 800 by 450. So I'm scaling all these the same size to begin with. All right, and so there's my Halloween layer, which is gonna be my back wall. Now, um, when we go in here and select our 3D transforms, your 3D transform might be in a different tool grouping than mine. I've, I've customized my tool grouping in my toolbox to match what makes sense to me and um, and I'll go over I'll go over a, a tutorial on doing things like that in the future. But for right now, just remember that your tools may not be in the exact same spot my tools are in. Okay, so let's start off with our autumn layer here. This is going to be our left wall, and I want to go in. I want to select 3D transform, and then I want to click on my autumn layer and it'll bring up that dialog and we want to make sure that we've got our rotate uh, process 
highlighted here. We don't want to move it. We don't want to record it. We want to rotate it. So I'm going to put my cursor right in the center of it. I'm going to left click it and I'm going to drag to the right to rotate it around the Y axis. And so here we go. And just get an angle that you feel looks appropriate for what you want to do. Um, one thing I like about the 3D Transform is it automatically does the perspective for you. So to fine tune it, I just go up here to these arrow keys and I just click on the arrow keys because I want this edge fairly straight, you know. And if you bring out your guide, if you left, left click on your left guide here, it'll bring out uh, a guide tool. And as you can see, that's pretty straight up and down. So I think we're going to be good with that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select transform. Now I want to select my Christmas layer, which is this layer here, which is going to be my right hand wall. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to left click it and make sure that my rotate function is the one that's selected. I'm going to grab it in the center. I'm going to left click and I'm going to hold down my left button and I'm going to drag it to the left so that it rotates in that direction. Okay, and then we can tweak it with these with these uh, arrows up here too, so that they're much more um, fine tuned. All right, so that looks pretty good, but let's bring our guide out just to make sure. And that one's just a little bit off. Can you see that? It's not completely vertical on the edge. So let's give it another click here, downward. That looks a lot better. But we will we will tweak we will do the final tweak with actually with the rotate um, tool rather than the three D transform. So I go ahead and select transform, and so so that one is rotated now. And I'm going to grab my um, my move tool here. I'm going to grab my guide. I'm going to drag it off. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to get these positioned about where I want them, and then I want to make sure that um, that these two are completely vertical. I know that my back wall is completely vertical and you can see that, that looks pretty good. But we could rotate this just a little bit. Our autumn, Hi, uh, grab that layer and then let's go up to our transform tools again and then let's go to rotate. And I'm going to rotate that edge just ever so slightly to get it com just about completely vertical. And I'm going to select rotate. So that one's good. So let's grab our Halloween wall right here and move. Oops, I don't want to. I don't want to rotate it. I want to grab it here. Okay, so I've got my move tool. Now let's move it over here to the edge on the right wall, which is our Christmas image. And we'll grab our Christmas image, and that actually looks pretty good. It looks almost completely vertical. All right, so now let's move our back wall out of the way here. Let's get these positioned where we want them to be within our image composition. And then I'm going to I'm going to left click my guide at the top and I'm going to hold down my left button and I'm going to drag my guide down from there and what I want to do is make sure that these two I want to make sure that these two are the bottoms are aligned with each other. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so now I can move this guide out of the way. I'm going to grab my, um, I'm going to grab my Halloween image here, which is my back wall. I'm going to set it up so that the bottom edge matches the bottom edge of my left wall here. You see what I'm doing? I'm getting these two edges lined up. And then I'm going to go to my scale tool. And I'm going to hold down my control key while I'm scaling this so that it maintains the aspect ratio. So I'm holding down my control key, I'm left clicking it, and then I'm going to drag it down until I get the top edge to match up. I want this top edge to match up with the top edge here, the bottom edge matched up with the bottom edge here, and they are, so I'm going to go ahead and click scale. And then I'm going to grab my move tool again, and I'm going to grab this over here. And you can see that this one's a little bit off. I need to scale this one a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my scale tool. 
and I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to scale this one. Whoops, wrong one. Grab my Christmas one here. Hold down my control key, scale it just so slightly to get it the same, same height. Grab my move tool, move it up just a little bit. All right, and so now I've got my composition completed. I've used my 3D transform tool, my rotate tool, or my scale tool to get these set up like they're a perspective wall. So there, you can do some really cool things with the uh, with the 3D transform tool in in the GIMP. As a matter of fact, I'm going to open up one more image here. It's a thumbnail that I did previously with the web search, and that's exactly that's the same tools that I use to perform this this screenshot stack here perspective this uh, perspective stack that I've got here so um, a very cool tool three main tools your your tra 3d transform your move tool your scale tool and your alignment tools it was all that we used to do that very very cool all right that's a wrap on this episode stay tuned and I will see you in the next episode